Hey everyone, welcome to Tel Aviv. In honor of Israel's Independence Day, we're gonna take a walk along the Golden Trail of Independence and understand where Tel Aviv was started and where the State of Israel was born. If Tel Aviv is the heart of the startup nation that is Israel, then across the street from us is the house of Israel's first spout of peace, as we like to say, Israel's first entrepreneur, Akiva Aryeh Weiss, who moved to what was then Ottoman-era Palestine in 1906, came up with the idea of building the first Hebrew city, a garden neighborhood that would become known as the Chuzad Bayit. That is the foundation the roots of what will become known as Tel Aviv. When Akiva Arie Weiss set foot here in 1906, all of this was just one giant sand dune. It's only in 1909 that Weiss gathers the first 66 families of Kuzat Bayit, and on top of those famous sand dunes, raffles off the land that will become Ahuzat Bayit, the foundation of Tel Aviv. It would only be a couple of decades before Ahuzat Bayit would grow too big for its shell of a garden neighborhood and start becoming the city of Tel Aviv. As we look around, we actually can see some of the original architecture of both the eclectic and Bauhaus international styles that make Tel Aviv famous until today. In 1925, Tel Aviv's iconic first mayor, Mayor Dizengoff, decided to build the Great Synagogue, a spiritual hub at the heart of the first Hebrew city. The architecture and the beautiful stained glass windows, inspired by the synagogues that were destroyed in the Holocaust, represented a resurrection of Jewish culture in this incredible new city. This stunning building would become such a landmark in both Tel Aviv and eventually the State of Israel that it would be here that the celebrations for the first anniversary of Israel's independence would take place. And it's during those celebrations, for the first time, we hear the words of the prayer for the welfare of the State of Israel. <laughs> Remember the raffle on the sand dunes that we spoke about earlier? This was the first house to come out of that raffle, and it belonged to none other than the famous Mayor Mayor Dizengoff, the first mayor of Tel Aviv who served for the first 25 years of this city. If Akiva Arie Weiss is the visionary, it's Mayor Dizengoff, who is the spearhead leading the transformation of the small neighborhood of Akuzat Bayit into the metropolitan that this city will become today. Following the death of his beloved wife, Sina, in 1930, Mayor Dizengoff donates his house and turns it into the Tel Aviv Museum. And it's here, on May 14th, 1948, that David Ben-Gurion will step out of his car, walk into the museum, and declare Israel's independence. Chagat Smutzamach, Happy Independence Day from Tel Aviv.